Hi everybody, it's so good to sit down and do a regular video. I'm back at the apartment now. And And I just got back this week. Well, a couple days ago, I've been at the house in um, Southern Alabama since Memorial Day. At the end of this video, I'm gonna put a few clips in of some other just little vloggy things I did along the way, but I wanted to do a heart and soul video today. Here's the thing. The reason I wanted to do heart and soul today is because I've just been going through a real struggle with, um, my time with the Lord and uh, feeling connected. I feel hyper connected, but not in a regular kind of way. And um, I don't know, it's just been a struggle and I thought I would share it with you. And maybe if some of you have gone through this, you can tell me what you did or, or how it felt or I don't know. Life ebbs and flows and I don't think I like that. I like structure and schedules um, where I know what's expected of me and I know what I can expect of my day. And nothing has been that way in the past over a month now. Um, I have spent every day busy, busy, busy. I get up at the crack of dawn before the sun rises. This is at the house. And I uh, fall into bed at like 9.30 at night and I can't move. I'm sore all over. My nails are terrible. My feet, I've been living like a, a camper. I felt like I was in a camp out the whole time because I don't know, I'm indoors, outdoors all day long. I feel like I'm, I was never clean. I didn't wear makeup hardly at all. I didn't do my hair for a month. I didn't do my hair. My hair's not even done now, but at least it's better. Now, part of that was the black orange hair situation I had going on. And so I was so depressed, I didn't even wanna look at my hair. So it just went in a ponytail every single day. But I digress. So anyway, it's been a wonderful slash weird slash exhausting experience. And so I didn't have my regular stuff with me, my regular Bible and my regular uh, prayer journal and everything. And I do not recommend that. I'm going to start taking it just back and forth in this carry bag thing that I have so that I have the right stuff with me that I feel comfortable with and that I'm used to. And I don't even know what I'm saying now. Okay, so what I did, I got back here, and I've been praying, and I had a really special time with two of my friends that came and visited me, and, 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 and all that's been great, but I just have felt disconnected, and a part of that is probably I've been living here, I've been living there, I've been, there's no routine, and I guess that's been the problem but you know, God doesn't move. I can move all over the place. I can be back and forth. I can be in Florida. I can be at the house. I can be at the apartment. I can be in Texas. I can be anywhere. God doesn't move. It's me that's whirling myself around, um, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but it, I have got to learn that it's okay not to have a specific routine I think I just have to learn that until I get settled. So what I did this morning, I just got back out my old prayer journal. One of the things I wanna to say today is, if you don't keep a prayer journal, I urge you to do that. Because I was, this is 2017, and I was able to go back through this whole book and see so many things. And it's so interesting. So then I got out my new prayer, this is my 2018 prayer journal. And I was looking at the beginning of it. There was no mention here of buying a house or moving. Um, you know, I, no mention. So I guess my point is you never know what's around the corner. You never know what God has for you, whether you're in a really good place or a really bad place. Something new is going to happen. You know, you have to be not really ready or prepared for it. I don't think you can prepare because you don't know what it is. But you can, you can be close to God throughout all of it. I have felt close to God at the beach, but at the house, but it's just been different because I've been so tired. But every day I remember as I was just exhausted, I would say, Lord, thank you so much that I can lift all these boxes and do all these things and work 24 seven and not fall apart, you know? And so it's been a really, it's been busy, but it's been a good busy. So what's my point? I guess my point for heart and soul today 
is stay connected. Oh, and that's one thing I wanted to share with you that I read this morning. And it's so great. So let me get it here. I was in my Jesus Calling book. Okay, this is really cool, and I just think it's wonderful. It's for July 2nd. That's today. Let me show you my way for you today, this day. I guide you continually so you can relax and enjoy my presence in the present. Okay, that is so profound to me because here's the situation. While I was at the house, the new house, the cottage, the new house, whatever you want to call it, um, I've been so extremely present. And you'll see that at the end of this video because I've got like five minutes of clips that happened in a month's time because I never picked up my camera because I was hyper present. When we had company, I was hyper present. I barely picked up my, I, I'm so sorry I don't have more photos and stuff of the fun times we had, but it doesn't matter, they're all up here. You know what I mean? So I was more present than I've ever been. I've been on social media less than I've ever been. And guess what? It felt amazing. So that really spoke to me this morning that you can enjoy God's presence in presence in the present. Okay. And being present is something that I think a lot of us are missing in today's world. This is a good one too. Living well is both a discipline and an art. I think that is so incredible. I need to add more art to my discipline, my working discipline, you know, getting things done and, and not just laying around and watching TV or whatever. Um, I need to add more art to my discipline. I've realized through this devotion and everything that I don't have to be so hard on myself that I've been busy, that I've been present in my life and that I haven't had this hyper schedule of, you know, the Lord's from seven to eight and then this and then this and then this. It's just ebb and flow. Life is just ebb and flow. And sometimes it's just not on a schedule. Although I think schedules are good. I don't think they should rule your life or when you don't have one or when yours is changed or turned upside down. I don't think you should be hard on yourself or think that there's something wrong with you. Um, I had to be hyper-focused at that house. There was a million and 17,000 things to do. And we're going back this weekend because there's more stuff to do, but so much of it is fun and preparing for others. So much of what I'm doing up there is preparing for visitors. And I can tell you that when um, my friends came and then Daddy Ann and Barry, a couple friend of ours came, um, I could feel that they were having a good time. I could feel that they knew this place was kind of different and very relaxing. I mean, I could barely get these people off the front porch for days. So um, that's special to me. And I realized that um, I'm trying to set this up as a gift to my friends and family of we're so lucky to have this and we want you to feel the peace and the joy that we feel here at this house too. So now I'm going to just put a couple clips in. I hope this heart and soul has made sense. And um, I am going to continue to be present at the new house because I'm going back up there this weekend and then I'm staying well, next weekend. And then I'm staying because um, Megan, Craig, and the grandkids are visiting. And then it's going to be really close to the new baby coming when I have to zoom to Florida. So I will come back to the apartment, I think. But it's just going to be a wild and crazy July and August. So again, videos are going to be far and few between. Check me out on Instagram. I can be more present there for sure because it's quick and it's easy and it doesn't require all this stuff I've had to go through to make this video. Okay, here's the clips. We've got this courtyard back here that is really cool and we're gonna fix the hot tub. And then Scott's got his grill that he's proud of. There's the boat. I didn't even tell you all the boat saga. That's for another video. And uh, we got a couple little chairs. This is the hat rack I had in my other house and there was no place for it. And I did have purses on it, but now I'm gonna use it for beach towels when we get home from the beach or boating. They can go out, stay out here and kind of dry. This is brand new, but we have nothing to cook on it. This is the barn. We call it the barn because it looks like a barn. Let me show you from way back here. Um, 
that's a big, huge storage room with an air conditioner and heater and everything. And then this is our um, carport. We have a metal roof, which matches the house over there. Satellite, isn't that lovely? Hey, when you live in the country, you take what you can get. Anyway, that's where we're gonna park. Also, this is my big time party room. That's an empty lot next to us. It's all vegetation. I love it so much. This is, um, this is my party room, y'all. Here, we're gonna put big string lights. Picture this, y'all. Big string lights. I mean, this thing is massive and it's, I just love it. All right. Just like the Beverly Hibbillies that we are, we are parking, we just parked, we've been parked on the grass because the movers just backed out. So we have to move that, move our cars back in. I don't really want to show you the front of the house, although you'd never find it, but look, y'all. Are you dying? This is my dream. This is my favorite flower, hydrangeas. It's just like, seriously, and look, it's got struck. <laughs> okay, but I want to show y'all something. Um, look at this tree. Look at this oak tree. I mean, this thing is just, we've got a lot of work to do. They've marked the driveway and stuff because we're putting a sprinkler system in. Plus I have no lights on. Anyway, I was gonna show you the situation that's going on. When um, normally Scott would have been in here helping me, but our son-in-law wanted to put a <laughs> sprinkler system in for us and look I mean it's happening see y'all Scott's the pipe holder I guess <laughs> it's crazy it's just not I, I don't know what I thought how I could pull it together immediately <laughs> I mean I knew I couldn't do that but um I decided just to stop trying to even think about the decorating, even though I have company coming. I'm going to just let it flow. I think I found a great wall color in my dish towel here. Don't look at the window treatments. But look at this house. Don't look at the brick here. Look how gorgeous. Yeah, y'all watch Gigi, right? It's beautiful. Y'all, it's coming out different on camera. Okay. Look how pretty. You can't hardly see it, y'all, in this light. But that's going, obviously. This is the old color. It was yellow. Okay, and then here's the new color. It's gray. It looks so rich. Anyway, I just wanted to do a little it's bit of a. It's kind of a grayish. It's a grayish. We're doing it. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, and my new light fixture. Nah. Love it. Nah. And my hydrangeas. Okay, 
heading to the beach for dinner. Been on the boat all day. We are exhausted. Daddy, do you have any words to say about Alabama? Well, I'll just say that the Mermaid Cottage is amazing. <laughs> and you get to go eat seafood tonight at Gulf Shores, which is cool. And we've been out on the boat all day. We had a wonderful time. I can't tell you anything else. It's just fun all the time here. <laughs> and there's the driver, Scott. And Barry, what are you going to say? Barry, have something to say. He always does. Life is good.